Welcome to another match, highlighting some BSL players. This is actually a match between, this is another match between Art of Turtle and Tempest. I think this is their second match as part of BWCL, which is the longest lasting clan league. Honestly, as far as continuation, I think it beats some of the Korean leagues as well. It's been going for 52 seasons, a very long period of time. Upper left hand corner, we have Ash, Art of Turtle, Purple, Zerg, bottom left hand corner, Tempest, OG Tempest, OG indeed as the Midnight Blue, that's what I'm going to call this color. Midnight Blue Terran. This is on Polypoid. But yeah, check out Art of Turtle in Chobo League. I'm hoping to cast some of his games after this. So I'm going to upload, theoretically, I'm going to, oh, I have uploaded a bunch of games at this stage. I'm actually realizing I forgot to do my YouTube upload <laughs> for today, which is June 1st out of May now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to upload all of BSL Season 11, upload a handful of these games for a few days, and then dive into BSL Season 12, which will start, I think for me, Thursday, which will be June 3rd. So if you want to see BSL 12, I'm debating whether we want to start with Hasu League or Chobo League. I feel like Hasu League, it's kind of, I feel like the casters are, because there's so much PvP in Hasu League, people tend not like to, to cast it as much, but then they're like, ah, Chobo League, don't want to cast that. Whereas I just want to highlight BSL altogether. By the way, if you guys have BSL feedback, go ahead and chat to go join the BSL Discord. Obviously be a patron amongst those other things. Um, by the way, we are seeing, looks like an overpool, or sorry, uh, overlord, yeah. Overlord pool opener here for Art or Turtle. Overlord is, his initial overlord is going to end up seeing Tempest space, went bottom left hand corner first. Still doesn't send out a drone scout. It actually might not altogether. It might use the Zerglings to scout. I think this, yeah, this drone's coming down to be a hatchery. Tempest's going to be able to wander in and see absolutely everything. The simulator being taken on 10 as well. And I think, yeah, he's going to try to use these Zerglings to provide some scouting information. Here's the thing, though. Tempest has not sealed in his front door. Marine being produced. Initial Marine. He might think about a bunker because this is Larva being saved. And that is six Zerglings being produced. Tempest, critically, and also this Overlord, spotting location. Although this Marine might be able to kill this Overlord. Art of Turtle, ooh, that would be awful, losing that early. He needs to be careful, though. Six Urglings, this is going to be, hmm, timing-wise. Can six Urglings get down here and save this Overlord from these Marines and get inside this base? We will see. Command Center also being built. This and actually, if, I like this. If he blockades this ramp, that certainly would be an Overlord kill. Yeah, okay. So Tempest blockading the ramp with SCVs might end up losing an SCV or two, but should pay out for him overall because he's going to put Art of Turtle in the red. Losing an Overlord like this in the early match is oftentimes a death sentence. One SCV kill, not much else. Zergling's being repelled otherwise. But... Oh, is it going to sneak out? I don't know. It's going to be close. Okay, Marine getting there. 23, 17. Uh, nope. Artur able to get a second Overlord up, but losing an early Overlord like that is a huge cost. He's halfway to Lair, though, so going for two hatch play. Comparatively. Does have Zergling speed upgrading. Wants to make sure that, and if he can, we'll see if he produces a couple more Zerglings. Also a third hatch, or sorry, no third hatch, just Lair. It's used to seeing Agistol. Getting Hydralis Den, so it looks like this is going to be two hatch Lurker. Let's try to follow this up. Command Center on the high ground, building SCVs. Tempest wants to make sure he has a larger Marine count before he tries to wander out and take his natural expansion. Two barracks down, no Academy just yet, and just now taking his Refinery. To get towards that. SCV is going to scat out. And it's actually going to be able to slip through that Zergling line. That is huge. If he can wander up here and see this lair and see this Hydralis den, he's going to know exactly what he's up against. There's Lurker Aspect being upgraded. Command Center, though, in the meantime, being wander up. The Zergling is trying to provide a bit of disruption, but upon seeing the rest of those Marines going to back off otherwise. But this is going to be the critical component. Tempest is going to be able to wander up should be able to get into the main without any disruption. And this tends to be the doom of this sort of thing. Sees 
two hatch and sees uh, Hydalisten there. So he knows that lurkers are coming. So all he needs to do is plop down an engineering bay. Looks like he's got that academy just about finished. Can get a compsat station, plop down a bunker, get an eBay, get marine, uh, more marines around it. Yeah, just clog up this natural expansion before this can really be executed. Art of Turtle really pressing this though, despite losing that early overlord. Zergling's moving down. He's already got a handful of Hydralisks. Lurker Aspect just about finishing. Compsat Station's going to be there, but I don't see any Acad... Wow, this is very brave from Tempest. With no medics, he's moving forward to try to engage this Zergling army and try to thin it out a little bit. No turrets. So keep in mind, that's two scans, and that's all she wrote. And plus, he's wandering out with this Medic Marine army that's in the dark. So if there were hold position lurkers out here, which there might be in a moment, that could be the end of this army. He's sweeping out to try to clear this forward area. And it looks like what he's going to opt to do is skip. Interesting. He's going to skip the engineering bay and try to get a factory and I assume try to get a science vessel rapidly. That's a long time to wait for detection, though. Art of Turtle sneaking an expansion to that upper right-hand base. And this might end up paying off just because Art of Turtle's like, okay, I got caught, so I guess this isn't going to work. Second bunker being planted, by the way, on the front. Two lurkers now moving in. Zerglings engaging up to the high ground. Some lurkers are going to be able to plop down and take out the rest of this. That's a bit of a wasted scan there because that was two marines. So that entire army getting wiped out. And now Tempest in a lot of trouble. He's got five marines in two bunkers trying to defend his front door. With one scan expended, looks like he's got three scans otherwise. Starport being plopped down with the machine shop. So yeah, he's just going to go straight to Science Vessel in the mid game. Interesting. Interesting. Honestly, I feel like Arter Turtle with a Zergling Flood might have been able to third bunker going down. Might have been able to take this just on pure over overwhelming forces otherwise, but he's not continuing with Lurker production. Instead, he's now swapped into three hatch spire. Upper right hand base is up, but drones aren't mining. A little bit thin as far as drone saturation on that natural expansion as well. So starport's up. Engineering bay. Okay, now the engineering bay finished. Siege tank upgrading. And finally getting a turret to defend against these lurkers on the front. This does give map control to Art of Turtle. Supply capped himself here, which does not help. Does have some mutalisks on the way, though. So that's, I think, five. Five mutalisks in the air. And critically, because of the off timing of this, Tempest does not have any turrets defending his main or his natural. So kind of sneaky. That siege tank out in the front... Tempting these Zerglings in, they're going to get wiped out. And keep in mind, Tempest did not drop another scan at all. Dropship being produced. Oh. So now scanning. I don't know that he spotted the rest of this. The Mutalisks, realizing that they are home free, are just going to feast. And plus, that Medic Marine count, because they got wiped out, now that's abandoning, just leaving four Marines there at the front. That's going to invite perhaps those Lurkers. To attack towards that front, a turret desperately tr being tried to, desperately trying to produce that turret there. At the main, looks like the mutalists are going to have to back off. More mutalists, unfortunately, wandering straight across the front. A zergling getting pulled out as well. Now the lurkers diving and moving forward, but a little bit too late. So that siege tank is there, but Harder Turtle has been able to get that third up and running. Needs to get that a little bit more saturated. Is in a pretty decent position here overall. Dropship is needs to think twice because that could be scary. A bunch of I think this is a bit of an overproduction of turrets now <laughs> to deal with these mutalisks because he was caught unawares. That is going to pin Tempest back, especially with the marine count. He invested a lot in these bunkers. Keep in mind. So dropship loaded up with looks like a medic and a handful of marines. It's making its way out to the right and it is going to get out there scot free. Fourth barrack being produced. Two something colonies just in case. But this upper right hand base, if 
If Tempest sees it, he should be able to take that out. Queen's Nest Evolution Chamber additional hatchery for Art of Turtles. So he wants to push this very rapidly into, the, into late game tech. He's going to catch a handful of Marines with these eight Mutalisks. And engaging well on the ramp, getting some nice micro done there. Nice micro. Actually clearing out another Medic Marine army. Here's the thing, Tempest needs to be careful. Yeah, he's able to drop here in the upper right. Nice response by Art of Turtle. Might lose this hatchery. But with those Medic Marines gone, and honestly, not a huge Marine force, he needs to be careful about his natural expansion. Getting overwhelmed and just ending up with Lurkers right there. Could be anyone's game. Tit for tat, both directions. Science Vessels being produced. Yeah, Hatchery's taken out. The Overlords are going to be able to... Well, maybe the Overlords are going to be able to escape. But while that's happening, the Mutalists are just raining down all sorts of destruction on these barracks. Looks like they've been thinned out significantly, though. Still getting a lot of Marine Medic kills. And this dropship still stands and might be able to get another drop at additional locations. More Hydralisks being produced right there. This barracks actually might burn down. One of them in the red. Is an SCV going to get up there to repair? They're going to go ahead and back off. So, a couple larvae there. Art Turtle might want to build a drone. Well, let's see if he's going to clear that out. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and clear out the larvae just in case to remove that trick. Hive Tech is going to be up, but Art of Turtle's in the red, first of all. Second of all, he's sitting on two gas, which is not exactly the place you want to be. Tempest is about... There's a lot of supply. 15, 16 supply ahead. Quick math in my head. Barracks are being produced. Finally, that fourth barracks up. And science vessels with a radiate are in the air. Second engineering bay. To push more to that medic marine composition. Defiler mound. In place as well. And a couple scourge being produced. I think realizing that he's going to have to deal with a lot of those science vessels. Here's the thing. He can pick off those science vessels in the air. This is a large lurker count. Eight lurkers overall. And Tempest has invested so much in these drops, has invested so heavily in turrets and bunkers on his front door. A little bit smaller army than usual. Does have two siege tanks, though, in the midst of it. A couple fire bats as well, realizing through some scans that Arter Turtle was going to follow us up. with some Dark Swarm Defilers. I don't see any Defiler, though, on the front. Consume's just now being upgraded. Crackling is in place. Level 1 armor. Also in place, but level 1 weapons has been there for Tempest for quite some time. Has the two engineering bays, but currently both of them are silent, unfortunately. A lot of Lurkers. This is so many Lurkers. Honestly, I feel like Arter Turtle could just unburrow these lurkers, move forward, and maybe finish this match right now. We'll see. Relying on the misfire chance. Currently, both of those, all three, well, that shot landed. But this lurker, invincible. Slowly unburrowing, relying on map position. Some scourge wandering forward. Are they going to be able? Nope. Plenty of marines to defend against that underneath. Some zerglings into defiler are going to make their way down momentarily, but not before at least... Two Lurkers and a handful of other units are going to be wiped out. Tempest, 20 supply up. Is sitting on two base versus two base surge, which is exactly where we want to be. Mutalis. Pressing forward, able to take one of the science vessels out. But these Lurkers slowly, slowly, slowly getting wiped out. Now the Defiler there, moving forward. Good swarm on the corner. And that army just getting eviscerated in one continuous spine... Oof. And another good Dark Swarm. No Fire Bats in... Well, sorry, there are Fire Bats, but they're... The back position. So not going to be able to... Not going to be able to stop these Lurkers under this Dark Swarm. And now Arter Turtle has very nearly breached Tempest's natural expansion. Still detected. Still there's Splash Damage from, the, from those Siege Tanks, but not a, not a lot of other defense. More Zerglings starting to flood forward. Allowing these lurkers to get even closer. Zergling's able to get into the back mineral line. Siege tank is down. But I think that defiler was irradiated in the midst of this. Tempest still backed up. Arda Turtle trying to take this not very aggressive 9 o'clock base. 
Here's the thing for Tempest. If you can keep this science vessel count high, continue to produce these units, and keep on top of the irradiates, should be okay. However, he's having a lot of trouble with, he needs to re-rally his troops to a closer location. Oof, and protect his science vessels. Big loss. If Art of Turtle can just, he's got more lurkers, but if he can get another defiler down here, I'm not sure that Tempest would be able to defend it. Yeah, he has four fire bats, five fire bats, but I just don't think that'd be sufficient. Does have a single siege tank. Not dead yet, but at the same time, not looking good. This is that moment where we actually want to press forward and try to break that contain. Lurkers once again burrowing forward, catching a lot of these Marines on the corner, gonna force them back. You can hear a lot of the, the screams of the Marines as they're being wiped out. Siege tank actually getting taken out from the, the high ground to Lurker's Spines. This is what, nine Lurkers on the front? And now a Defiler moving in. Oof, that is not what you wanna see. That might be GG right there. Firebat's able to get some damage done, but still plenty of Lurkers otherwise, which makes those Marines basically worthless. And Tempest, I don't need, so the Defiler, oof. Wow, he's actually just straight up going up the ramp. Siege tank, the only defense it's gonna get taken out momentarily, and reinforcements are pouring down. That's Zerglings flooding across. GG, well played by Art of Turtle. Good recovery. Usually you lose that first Overlord like that, and that's game. Fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.